Traders, today's video is all about the centralized exchange screener for cryptocurrencies. So we're going to take you through that tool. Now, if you're on tradingview.com just like this, go ahead and hover your mouse over products, go to screeners, and here you will find CEX pairs, which is the centralized exchange screener or centralized exchange pairs screener. Keep in mind, if you've already watched or tried or tested, our, tested out our DEX pair screener, decentralized exchange pair screener, you will find some similarities in the centralized exchange pairs screener. I'm going to click CEX pair screener, and now I get a page like this. Another key reminder here is that we have countless videos on our YouTube channel that show you how the screeners work. You can apply some of the lessons and insights from the, those videos to this video. Also, just remember, you can also go to screeners and access all of the screeners that you have right here before your eyes. Now, I'm on the centralized exchange screener. And one of the first and uh, most important things to know is the exchange drop down here, because that is ultimately why this is called the centralized exchange screener. You are seeing all of the exchanges on TradingView and the cryptocurrency pairs that they offer. So without selecting anything, pulling in all the data, there are 35,483 symbols. Naturally, this list will increase or decrease over time, depending on how symbols are added to exchanges or removed. But you have the ability now to dive in and narrow this list down by selecting the exchanges that matter to you. So you can click multiple exchanges and effectively in a short period of time, as we can see here, We've now narrowed it down to 12,925 symbols, and we have 13 exchanges selected. So just like that, you should be able now to grasp what this tool is doing, why it matters, and how you can get started with it. So the next key point to go from here is to make sure you know that this drop down here, where we selected the exchanges, as you just observed, is your filtering mechanism and if you explore all of the other drop downs, you'll be able to add more filters to this screen to narrow it down. So maybe, for example, you want to see at least $1 million and above in 24 hour volume. So we click 1 million USD and above. Now we're down to 2,436 symbols. And you can continue to do this utilizing these drop downs. Why don't we do performance year to date? Let's just do positive, 0% and above. Now we're at 471 symbols. And there's some important data to extract here because here you can see the symbols, the symbol name, the exchange, price, change, volume, volume change, and the technical rating. Also, you can sort your data accordingly as you get started with these tabs here, overview, performance, technicals. Now, before I dive into these features to sort your screen. Let me first just remind you that there's a plus button icon. It quite literally says add new filter. And you also have the ability to reset all your filters as well. So actually, I'm going to reset all my filters just to restart this video. So as you can see here, so that you can see all 35,000 symbols. And as I go through it, you know, you're getting a fresh look at this screener tool with each feature I show you. So I'm going to click the plus icon. And now, as you can see here, I have more filters to access. The way you access those filters is just by select, selecting the topic of your choice, then clicking into it, and you'll see all of the additional filters you can add. So if I click this plus button, go to technicals, that, that means I can add some technical indicators here. So I can select Bollinger Bands. I'm going to do 20, length of 20. You can see here it says length. One day works for me. And I'm interested in the upper band of the Bollinger Band. I'm going to click Add Filter. Here's BB. It's been added. So I've now added a new filter here to the top. I click BB. I'm going to say upper is, let's do upper below price. So the upper band is below the price. 843 symbols, just like that. Now, what's important here as well is that when you see this plus icon, which I just demonstrated, is how you add a new filter. So look at all the filters here. If we wanted to, we could even add security info. Maybe we are interested in the symbol type. So let's just go to symbol type, spot, futures, perpetual. How about we're just interested in spot? Brings us down to 644. So this plus icon is really a great tool to know on the screener. 
And also, if you go over here to your columns, you can click the plus icon again to add details to your screen also. So for example, I could click market data, and maybe I want to know what the high is. So I click high, and how about I'm interested in the high over one month? Add column. So just like that, now I have the high over one month as well. So you have these features to access the centralized exchange screener, and it's all about diving in, trying the tool, and following the steps that you're learning in this video. What's also important, now that you understand how the filters up here work, especially the exchange feature, remember, it's the CEX screener, the centralized exchange screener. So these exchanges are a really nice feature for this specific screener in crypto. Well, the next important thing to understand is that you can click, drag, and drop. So click, drag, and drop as needed. And you can move these columns around to customize your view. Now, the second you do that, I've got a new custom tab here. So why don't we now walk through the columns in these tabs? Well, overview is just what it sounds like. Quick overview. You've got your exchange, price, change, volume, volume change, tech rating, performance. You've got all of the performance here, 24 hour, one week, one month, three months, six months. It's all right here. And then you've also got your technical ratings, which is just what it sounds like. The technical ratings of that symbol right here before your eyes. Be sure to also scroll, scroll over so that you see all of the technical ratings available to you. Now we're going to click custom because you should know that you can also do things like right click. And of course you can sort each column. So by the high or by the low, or sorry, this would be by the high and this would be by the low. And you can also naturally move it to the left just by utilizing this tool, move to the left, move it to the end or the right column settings, and you can change it. Remember, I clicked one month for this. Well, I'm going to go do it, go to a day. Click apply. I've now changed the high to a day. If I get tired of this, I can just click remove, and it removes just like that. So I can actually remove features very quickly and sort of, you know, maybe I just want to look at three key details, exchange price tech rate. You can do all of this. It's right here for you as you get started. So now that you understand this basic level of the centralized exchange screener, why don't we talk about a few more features? One great feature is the table view or the chart view. You have the choice. Chart view, table view, chart view, table view. We're going to click chart view and what you see here are all of the charts from this screen. So remember that's 652 symbols. Click chart view. Pretty cool. We've got all these charts right here for us to look at. We've also got some features such as the grid of our choice. So depending on the type of grid we want to visualize for all of these symbols, we can adjust this accordingly. Auto, great feature. It's going to ultimately adjust to your screen size. If you're on a laptop, a large monitor, you can look at more or less. Choice is ultimately yours. So two, two by two per screen. In addition, you can change the chart type, bars, candles, line, all right here before your eyes, complete access to it. Now, as you can see here, five days, one month, three months, six months, you can click through all of these time intervals to change all of your charts to these specific intervals of your choice. Entirely up to you, entirely for you. So as we go through this feature, it's important that you know you can do the table view or the chart view. It's right here in your hands. So now you have really gotten the full breakdown, including some advanced features. And one more thing we want to make sure, actually two more things we want to make sure that we also demonstrate, is that you always have your additional settings features as well, the top right. So you can change the views of the specific screen you're doing. Symbol description, currency, symbol description in the chart view. Do you want auto refresh off every 10 seconds, every one minute? And by the way, you can see your auto refresh changes whenever you have these selected. Let's keep it off for now. And what's really nice about that is you can effectively create a screen that is refreshing at a speed that you'd like it to refresh at. Now, the second thing we want to make sure that we do show you is that when you click the drop down up here, you can access your other screeners. And of course, if you click the drop down here, you can save your screens. So really nice way to make a screen and save it. In fact, I'm just going to click save, all pairs copy, click save, all pairs copy. I've now saved it. Click the drop down, 
all pairs copy. So you can save your screens and access them as needed as well. So this is the power of the centralized exchange screener. And we hope that you get started with this tool. Watch our YouTube videos to learn more. Read our help center to learn more and take full advantage of this tool. So thanks so much for watching and we look forward to hearing your feedback.